Hey everybody, welcome back. Welcome to Zach Stuff Live Updates and Channel Updates on Sunday, April 26th. How'd that sound? Pretty good? Pretty professional? See who's jumping in here. Give a couple shout outs. What's happening, Triple E EDC? The lucky man of the week there. What's up, Chris? Michael, what's happening? Yeah, doing some channel updates to you. What's up, Carlos? Doing good, doing good. Did some yard work today. Now it's going to start raining. What's up, Zach? Welcome to Zach Stuff. Live channel updates on April 26th. What's up, Mikey? Jesse? Benny Blade Play? That's like a tongue twister for me. What's up, Ronald? Yeah, it's the Warren Cliff Decca. What's up, Nice Slicers? Anthony, what's happening? Penny? What's happening, Penny? Menace is here. Hey, hey, what's up, Ryan? Ryan's in the house. Superstar, knife designer, knife maker, got this fabulous hanging out. What's up, Earl? Joseph? Nice. Well, welcome, Anthony. What's up, C. Lemansky? This beautiful knife from Pearson Custom Knives. Got a little dirt on there from last time. It's all good. It's a user. It's beautiful. Oh, you're binging Hunger Games? Oh, that's wild. Oh, thanks, Anthony. I appreciate it. What's up, Billy? Mark, what's happening? Yeah, it's a beautiful one. Yeah, we'll get a couple more people in here, and then I just want to... To go over something really quick that's on my mind. What's up, Michael? Did I get which one on Blade Banker's suggestion? I'm doing good, Mark. How are you? Thanks, Benny. Yeah, so this is a Hogue Deca, D E K A. In a Warncliffe blade. Oh, Michael, no. The Pearson I got, um, I've known um, Pearson Custom Knives for quite a while now. Um, especially Rodney. And he introduced me to his son's awesome talent. What's up, Blade Brigade? Oh, Big Red. What's up, man? Thanks for the love, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, the Super Chat's open. If you want to donate, that all goes back to the channel. Back to you guys, and I want to bring up two things real quick. Yeah, if you don't, man, seriously, Pearson Custom Knives, I mean, that purple is sick, and this is like the perfect carry, and you can switch the Kydex up too, so you can carry it scout style or stripping down. So I do want to say two quick things. One is, hopefully you guys have already checked out my 5,000 subscriber giveaway going on, because it's pretty epic. And the other thing is, with that, I'm giving away, oh, nice, planting some flowers right on, dude. Yeah, I was mowing the yard and pulling a bunch of weeds earlier, so that was pretty awesome. What's up, Glock? So these three beautiful knives, I mean, you can't go wrong with the 940 Knife Works, black and blue G10, a mini bug out, and then the CF Elite bug out. Man, you got to get entered to my giveaway if you haven't. So go check it out. Oh, Blade Brigade. Thanks, man. Much love, man. Thank you so much. So this is all part because, you know, or available because you guys have supported my channel. So I'm giving back for my 5,000 subscriber giveaway, those three knives, and a bunch of other stuff that goes with it. Um, thank you guys so much. So, you know, I wanted to basically get to the point where the channel supports itself. It gives back to you guys, 
and other manufacturers if they do donate stuff wonderful i give that right back to you guys and giveaways so anyways the second thing i want to say and i just got to say what's up jeff is i'm reading every single comment that you guys have posted what's up luke what's up jocks knife morgan what's up what's up earl so everything that you guys have posted on my 5,000 subscriber giveaway, I don't know if you guys have just read like a few. Man, people are just amazing in this community and it really blows my mind. I, all I ask is for you to leave a, 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 a you know, subscribe, leave a comment that says what you're thankful for. And it's amazing what people are thankful for. Um, you know, and there's some, there's some basic ones. And then there's people that just are like, man, I'm thankful to be alive and here's what's happening in my life. And I'm trying to respond to all of them, but I'm just trying to like them all right now and read them all and re respond to the ones I can. Um, but you guys are amazing. So I just want to get that out and say thank you because it really like brings just everything together for me. And what's up, Micah? It has been forever. What's up, sign painter? And basically look at who we are, why we're here, you know? And it really, for me, it kind of brings that all together. And it's like, you guys are awesome. You guys are supportive of my channel, so many others. And what's up, Sig with Saline? And it's one of those things that just, it really makes me humble, you know? It really makes me think about what I'm doing, why I'm doing it. And, you know, thank you. So anyways, those are the two things I wanted to get out. Thank you guys so much. Um, but yeah, let's put some knives on the table. Let's look at what things that I've, that I've been carrying this week. Um, so I've got this Hogue Deca in a Warncliffe blade. And I actually prefer the Warncliffe blade over the standard drop point. Because for some reason, I think I know what it is, but the back end of this knife curves in. So if you look at, let's say compared to like a bug out, the bug out is kind of straight and you got that cool lanyard hole. And Hogue's like, man, we're out. We're, we're gonna get rid of this, this lanyard hole. So Hogue like cut that lanyard hole out of there and then they just drilled it in higher up. But yeah, exactly, the rear matches the front. It's like a, it's like a, a car you drive down the street. But yeah, I've seen the new Luku, I've checked it out. It's pretty cool. Uh, there's one extra U in there after the E. But it's pretty cool. I should have mine on Monday or Tuesday, I think. But yeah, it's it's held for me in my order, but I can't pick it up yet officially. So, you know what I'm saying? A couple of people have gotten theirs because they, their dealers already have them. So, what's up, Kevin? That's cool, Anthony. Right on, man. That's cool. You'll have to post a picture somewhere and, and send it out to us. But I would have to say that the reason this blade, the drop point one, and when I close it, because that has that angle, it sits deeper in my palm. And the drop point blade, when I do it, comes down and it's a little bit longer and it ends up getting like slicing my palm. The standard drop point does. So I got the uh, the DECA in the Warren Cliff and I've been trying that out. And it's pretty super. And I don't know if you guys have seen it, but CPM 20 CV, it's got G10. This is like their lava uh, G mascus and it's pretty awesome. Yeah, so the Warren Cliff fixed that for me. And I don't know if they just made the blade shorter too a little bit. Because, you know, when it comes down, it doesn't stick out as far as the drop point one. So I'll do a comparison video on that because I still have the drop point one. But this one, I mean, it feels solid, you know. And so for me, it's a great user. I still got to move that clip from my other one over, though, and get the deep carry on this one. I have through, you know, random suggestions and hints, I've heard that they're working on a deep carry that you can uh, upgrade on this one. But hopefully we'll see that soon. I know manufacturing's kind of been holding on it for everybody for a while, but. Oh, you rid dyed it. Nice. Uh, Kapara Backspacer. Oh, navy purple. Right on, Jade. Yeah, they have some awesome knives. And another one that I had that's kind of been like, I don't know. It's so solid. It's just ridiculous. I do not have any CKF knives, Mark. But this one, I have it in the M390. It's the Ro or Hogue. Not Rogue, Hogue. But what do you guys think of this one? It's 
pretty awesome. Pretty, pretty awesome. Yeah, so this is kind of like your freak style from Benchmade. And you got this kind of a starburst, sunburst pattern, all centered from the axis, or I mean from the pivot. And it's, yeah, it's solid, it's a beast. It's got their able lock instead of the axis. You gotta get one. They just came out with a new one. I ordered mine. It's the tan with the black blade, and I think it's in the 20, I think. I don't know. What's up, Randy? Yeah, it's pretty sweet. So I saw a question earlier about the Mini Freak, and I love the Mini Freak. So let me see if I have one laying around here. I know I have one in this bag right here. Hold on here. So a giveaway, Stuart, is being announced this Friday, May 1st, and it'll probably be in the evening sometime, uh, Pacific Standard. So I'm trying to pick a time. I'll do a community post as well as, um, you know, maybe another updated video later this week and uh, post also on my um, Instagram. What's up, Real Fishing? But yeah, so the Mini Freak, I have it in a couple things, but one of the things that I did was I put some G10 on it, as well as carbon fiber. And what's up, Scott? And we had so much fun last night on Big Red, his Saturday Night Live, but this is the Mini Freak. I like this because I can get more of my fingers. I have a large glove size hand. I can get more of my fingers on here, and it's got a little bit of a ramp, and it's kind of got that similar blade shape, like in this one. But one of the things that the problem was, and I'll be just straight up honest with you, the standard version, hey, Triple E, I appreciate it. Have a good night, buddy. Thanks for stopping in. The Mini Freak, the standard version of it has like plastic and then rubbery grippy parts in the middle. Yeah, you definitely got to get the next run from Rogue. Now these are G10 from Rogue Blade Works. Uh, they're out of Oregon here, Southern Oregon, and it, you know, he did it amazing. He did it beautiful. So, all right, Deadpool, thanks for stopping in, man. Get back to work. I mean, feel free to join us, but yeah, if they go in the dark, that'd be sick. But that's why I love the Mini Freak, especially putting on carbon fiber or G10. So I just basically saved up and did that. What's up, Mr. Kluver? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, so I did that on mine, and I, I couldn't be happier. So, yeah, I do have some HK Benchmade. Yeah, RTSB, rock on, rock on. And I really love it. Um, it's one of the things, let's see, where'd that one go? And here's the full-size Freak. And so, I'm, I'm, you know, if you are looking for a Freak, this is the Super Freak that it's been dubbed. But it's a 560BK-1. And it's got the blue and gray, or sorry, black and gray layered G10, which is milled out. This is fantastic. I put the red thumb studs on afterwards, but it matches the barrel spacers and kind of that wine colored liner of G10. And it's amazing. Uh, they are in, they're down by the beach, I think, Michael. I'm trying to remember the exact city he's out of. But yeah, so that's one of the things is it's just pretty cool that this this is the full size one and i just i know we're all waiting for it but where you know where's our mini super freak that's <laughs> that's my question because you know we all know it's gonna happen it's just when and i'll have to tell you this um i like the gerbil fa gerber fastball i do not have one yet but i do like it i did try it out um, and I'm kind of a fan, so I just got to buy one now. But one of the other things, let's see here. Oh yeah, you got one, Jeff, from Adrian? Yeah, that, that'll be perfect. It'll look just like this. It'll be perfect. What color screws do you go with, Jeff? What's up, Bunzo? I know on my pair of three, I went with the, uh, blue. And it seems to pop really well because it's the pair of three lightweight. Yeah, 
Benchmade has a custom shop, but they don't do different hardware yet. Uh, the only thing you can choose from is satin or, or black. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Teton, I like the... Oh, you got Blurple. Nice. Ohio, thanks, buddy. Thank you so much. Yeah, so, I mean, you can see how those... I mean, just the pivot. And these are from Adrian down in Australia. Um, his, his th you know, it's triple X, adrenaline, triple X, but adrenaline has no E on it. So, yeah, Michael, I'll have to look. It, it's on his website, though. But yeah, pair three, lightweight with the pop and pop, pop. Yeah, the blue looks great. What are you guys carrying today on this Sunday? I know for me, I had two knives I carried today. One was kind of out and about. I was carrying this one. Oh, the blue bug out, nice. Oh, the 940 REI. How do you liking that, Morgan? The Capara, oh yeah. Bug out and tenacious, nice. The provoke, yeah. Oh, you got copper scales. Ooh, Chris, those are gonna look nice. Spider Coast Sunday. Oh, I didn't know it was Spider Coast Sunday. Oh, you got some blue barrel spacer, Scott. Right on. Drunken and Victorinox. Small Archaeo Copper. Ooh, that's a nice one. Black bug out, yeah. 530, menace, rocking it. I'm trying to see if I have my 530 laying here. Oh, no, I have the 531 laying here. Oh, you got your mediator, Billy. Nice. What do you think of it? Got the rift. Okay. Got your sinker. Okay. Nice. Yeah, that's perfect. Manix 2 Lightweight Delica 4. Loving the 940. The buy still finds a way to get... Ah, <laughs> that's great. Oh, Mr. Kluver, thank you so much, man. That is super nice. I'm very, very honored. Thank you. The Hawk Bill, nice. Full size grip. Benchmade bug out, GRY-1 and Leatherman. Oh, I need to get a wave. What do you guys think of the wave? Real fishing. Lion Steel, Coalition, Mini Grip, Ferrum Forge, Archbishop, Skeletool, Leong Ma, nice tie edition. Reich Hassar, Milwaukee Fastback. Mini Freak, Jag. Oh yeah, Scott, yeah, that's the one I just had. Yeah, custom hardware money. Oh, yeah, I see that now. Orange mini bug out, nice. Battle wash bug out, ZT0562 tie. Gray and FDE, the REI exclusive, nice. Oh, you prefer the charge? Okay. Maybe I'll have to get the new one. What's the, oh, the new one's the free. Maybe that's the one I was looking at at, uh, Shot Show and Blade Show West was the free, the new one. That's cool. Got it for your birthday. Right on. So two other things I want to talk about. Um, there's enough of you guys in here. Now I have to say, I have a I have a mission if you guys accept it. And I know you guys probably all, you know, beat me to it or whatever. But if it's reasonable, they have a new dealer exclusive 940 benchmade osborne that's out and it's basically for anybody that any dealer benchmade dealer who authorized dealer who buys a qualifying order or purchases an order basically gets one of these g10 blue 940 osborne's as part of an incentive now i'm just trying to get one for me because you guys know i'm a 940 guy so after today, or later today on my Instagram, I will post a picture of me holding one. All I've been able to do is hold one and and basically just <laughs> get the feeling and be like, oh, this is great. Oh, sign painter, thank you so much. But see this blue right here? It's like the it's like the Benchmade blue. The whole G10 scale is like Benchmade blue, black hardware. It's got um, a coated 20 CV blade. Of course, it's got the beautiful split arrow clip. Um, but yeah, Ohio, <laughs> dude, I was so like bummed out on that too, because I didn't even read the thing. So it was just like all silly luck. Um, but yeah, if you guys are able to locate one for me and it's a good, decent price, like there was one that somebody's posted on eBay for 500 bucks, 
I can't pay 500 bucks for that. But if you guys find one for me, DM me, email me, uh, DM me on Instagram or something. I would love to get one of those for my collection, but I'm not a dealer. So I put in my request with Benchmade, but I'm not a dealer. So you know how that goes. But yeah, the splitter oak clips on there. But I'll tell you what, I will carry that and rock it because it's amazing. But anyways, it's the year of the 940. It's the 20th anniversary. And I don't know. So I think it's it's one per qualifying order the way I understand it. So let's say hypothetically the qualifying order is like $2,000 or $3,000. And yeah, Randy, they're out. So a few of the dealers have already got theirs. And they're still making more for other orders. So anyways, it'd be, you know... It's just, it's, it's the colors I like. It's the 940 I like. Um, and I know you guys will probably beat me to it and grab one for yourself because they're amazing if you get a hold of one. But if somebody does get one and, and they're willing to, you know, I mean, there's a finder's fee and stuff. I'm sure that, you know, be taken care of. But anyways, I appreciate that, Randy. Yeah. If you guys do find one, man, I, I owe you so much. That'd be amazing. So it's just, it's funny how that works because I, somebody sent me a picture, a good friend of mine, sent me a picture of one and was like, hey, when do these come out? And I'm like, hmm, that's interesting because I'd seen it, but I thought it was going to be a regular release. I didn't think it was going to be a dealer exclusive. And so what's up, OSK? And so all of a sudden I found out it was a dealer exclusive because it's you know an incentive for them to reorder. I was like, oh, man. So it was kind of like the Super Freak that was in the JG10. I don't know if you guys remember that, the full size freak in the JG10. Um, that was another dealer exclusive one a couple years ago. So, anyways, um, you had some schnapps last night. That's so awesome, Ohio. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So, anyways, so that's one thing I wanted to mention. The other thing I wanted to mention is tonight. Um, yeah, I mean, I think they can still order, and I think it's still going to be available for a while. So I think that's why even if they're closed, they can still order and do that. So yeah, so it's the 940 BK-2002. I only saw the one on eBay. It was $499. Um, I think his lowest price, he was gonna taking offers, but the lowest he would take is $475. So I don't know. I mean, the guy that was selling it was, I think he's like a reseller or something. So that's cool though. Um, <laughs> John, where's that Micarta you're going to donate, that Micarta bug out? I'll have to see if I found it. I can find that. <laughs> but the other one I was carrying besides this G10 bug out today, um, I'm not sure, Nice Slicers. I thought it was for all dealers because I've seen some Canada ones. The other one I was carrying today was the full-size Presidio 2. This is the 570-1. It's got the CF Elite scales. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, the chat's good. 2002 on the 940. But what's up, John? Yeah, so it's one of those fun ones, but this one is amazing. So uh, yeah, Chris, let me uh, compare that one. What's up, Jesse? So I have the mini right here. Here's the mini. There's the full size. I'm trying to get them directly in front of the camera for you so you can see the difference. But I love the Mini. I've been carrying the Mini everywhere. But I carried the full size today out while I was working in the yard because I put it through its paces, you know. Oh, Morgan. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. But yeah, uh, so the Mini runs. Oh, shoot. I don't have the prices on it. 160 maybe, 145. I'll have to double check on it. But yeah, I mean, you can hear the plastic of the CF Elite. So the mini is just super light. So anyway, so I was carrying the full size today because that was just wicked. But yeah, amazing, amazingly awesome. But yeah, so we've covered what people are carrying. We've covered kind of my two things, three things I want to talk about. But there's one more. Oh yeah, KME. That'd be awesome. Yeah, way better than Gravery. Definitely, John. Way better. 
I'm super happy with it. I was bummed when I took them, took the scale, those uh, CF Elite scales off my bug out, but I put those G10 Micarta ones on. So, uh, so the the other thing I want to talk about is here in about. Let's see what time is it right now. So it's just about four o'clock Pacific. Right in about an hour from now, uh, Slicey Dicey goes live. And he's doing his 45th birthday special because his 45th birthday is Tuesday. So, oh, Chris, thank you so much. That's amazing, Chris. Thank you. That's just going to make, you know that this is just going to make the next giveaway so much awesome. Just so much awesomeness because there's some really cool Benchmates coming out. And I was I was having a chat this week. <sighs> Sorry, I got to clean my glasses really quick. I was having a chat this week with some of my good friends from Benchmade and they were just talking about some of the stuff coming out and some of the things that are happening and I'm just, I'm super, super excited and I'm really excited to see how they end up um, recognizing and honoring uh, Les Diasis, uh, the owner, founder who passed away here a couple months ago. I just can't wait to see how they honor him. I'm um, hoping they do something special like a set of knives, like a, a proper and a bug out or a proper to 940. But I know he loved the bug out. So, and he loved the proper. So, the Mini Presidio 123 Blade HQ. Okay, Earl, thank you so much. What's up, Lion Knives? Oh, yeah, the Tangus are nice. They're so nice. I grabbed one at Shot Show. And uh, messed around with it. And really, really good. What stuff are you looking for? Lion Knives. What's up, Ethan? I can't say anything about it right now. Um, yeah, I can't say anything about it right now. But one of the things is just like, you know, awesome. I can't wait. So I'm really hoping, I'm really hoping, I haven't heard yet. But I'm really hoping that one involves a G10 Mini Freak. And then one involves a, a G10 Bug Out. Because, come on, we're all waiting for this. I know this one was a limited edition that came out in 2019. Oh, the Presidio 2 is doing awesome. Yeah, James, that would be so, so nice if they did a combo like that. I mean, you know, they, they did, like, cigar cutters and stuff because, you know, Les was a cigar smoker. Um, so he, you know, had some limited custom ones that he did. But it's just, you know. Oh, Ohio, all right, man. Get those dishes done, yeah. Appreciate that. Yeah, if they did a special proper or something. I mean, I, I tell you what, I'm st I am still got my, my feelers out. And the, the word out on trying to get myself one of those uh, $1,000 propers that they came out with. Those limited edition ones. I'm drinking my iced tea right now. The 940 that I was looking for is the 940 BK, like Boy King, dash 2002. And it's basically an all blue G10 version with with a black coated blade but it's like got like this blue over the whole thing so it's an all blue g10 handle all black blade pretty simple looking you know obviously being an incentive for orders they're not putting a lot of extra prices into it um here's the mini crooked river you guys saw this this week this is a something you can do on the customizer the custom knife builder on benchmade's website yeah, that gold class proper. Woo. If I could get one of those, I'm like, holy cow. I got to pay my taxes, though. It's so weird. I get a refund from my state, and then I always pay federal for some reason. Yeah, the mini Crooked drivers have been amazing. Uh, favorite survival knife? I really like the Bushcrafter from Benchmade. And then, yeah, exactly, Dutch Bros. Heck yeah, Jesse. You know what's up. Little DB, little Dutch Bros. They're good. Uh, no sweetener, just a black iced tea for me. But yeah, you guys know what's up with that. I mean, if we could get 
those that would be amazing you know a g10 mini freak and a g10 bug out they're all back to work now so that's a positive they all just went back to work about a week and a half two weeks ago uh their store still closed also really quick don't forget if you do buy a knife southern edge knife works use the code zach 15 you get free shipping in the u.s uh, international shipping is only $15.99, and you get 15% off. I get zero kickbacks on this. Uh, the only thing he does is send me some knives to check out, and I ship them back to him. So, anyways, that code will get you 15% off. Um, I got to use it this week for another order myself. So, and if he doesn't have it, email or message him, and he'll uh, he'll get it in for you. So, I'm trying to like have him buy a qualifying order <laughs> and hook me up with one of those 940s. Uh, but anyways, I was also carrying this this week. I don't know if you guys saw this one or have seen this. I know a few of you have. Big Red loves this. This is the Monterey Bay Knives EWC. It's got the, it's like a double detent. And it's just, it's a slicer, crazy slicer. Front flipper. And... I like it you know I'm not usually a huge fan of the milled clips but it's pretty good yeah exactly they do it's pretty darn cheap for it so but yeah what's up Tristan welcome welcome oh really their websites closed that's weird I'll have to check it out when I'm done here I think it's spelled out southern edge knife works .com. but yeah this m390 blade now they have, so I picked up this one, uh, right about October last fall. Um, it was uh, carbon fiber M390, you know, double detent, pretty cool. Ray Laconico design you see on there, but they ended up doing a new set of scales. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, cool. Thanks Chris for checking that out. All right, well, dang it, hopefully. No, I didn't tie games. I didn't get a PM2 from St. Nick's. I did happen to win a Man X2 this week on a raffle. I was trying to fill one in for a buddy. He had one spot left, so I'm like, all right, I'll take it. And then, of course, the last guy to pay it won, right? Hey, Keith, thank you so much. I hope you're doing well, man. I know you're a hardworking guy. But yeah, this EWC was a really nice one. But they're coming out with, I think, Micarta scales. Yeah, they are. The Rogue scales on this Mini Freak are hot. So, Zach, that's a good question. So, um, oh, you're building a deck. Oh, man. Oh, that's what I saw on your Instagram. Okay. Man, much love for that because that's, that's some wild times right there. Good luck. Hopefully it doesn't start raining because I think you're, I think you guys are good for weather right now. Hopefully. Yeah. Micarta's king, but now I'm like, dang, I would like to get some Micarta. Oh, good. Keith. Good. I'd like to get some Micarta scales for this. I don't know if I can, I can justify buying another one. <laughs> I mean, I could, but I gotta, I gotta watch it. Cause so usually, so my, my knife channel is supported by you guys. I always give everything back to you guys that you guys give to me. So whatever I make, um, you know, in a month or two months, I do giveaways with that. Oh, that's awesome, Randy. Grilling the kebabs. But one of the things I have is, you know, it's, um, I lost my train of thought there for a second. So my, I have a second job. And what's up, Chad? Oh, you got a mini monologue and a tango? Yeah, buddy, those are nice. So my second job basically laid us off without laying us off. Uh, my second job is part-time, and the way it works is we get a lot of call-in stuff, and we also get some, you know, scheduled shifts, of course. But, you know, I've always used that as, like, my knife money, um, kind of my extra money to do whatever with. And, yeah, exactly, I have to have a second job for the knives. So... You know, it's one of those things that, you know, it was kind of a bummer the way they did it because there's some people, what's up, Jerry? 
there's some people that truly depend on that job. So there's people that are like, you know, that part-time job's it for them. You know, um, I know one of the guys just had a kid and stuff. And so kind of a bummer deal because they didn't technically lay us off, which I'm fine with that because I have some time built up that I can use. And, you know, it's, it's extra for me. So I can use my weekends to actually like weed my lawn and weed my garden and those kind of things that, you know, my family appreciates that I do, but those other people really depend on that. So I'm kind of bummed out on that because I don't know, at least they would have been able to file for unemployment and get some of those benefits, which they can't do if they're not laid off. So, uh, so anyways, so that's, that's my second job and it's, uh, you know, it's pretty easy going. Um, I've been there for a long time and you know, I look forward to retiring hopefully in the next like seven, eight years from my full-time job, but we'll see, see how it goes. So, but yeah, overall job wise, I deal with like kind of solid waste and those things. So don't want to get into too many details, but I try to keep it separated a little bit. Cause sometimes not everybody's a knife fan. You know how that goes. Uh, you're looking for some darker Micarta scales for your CF elite bug out. Oh, really? Let me see if I have something that might interest you. The scales are pretty nice, but they do cost a little bit extra. But the it's G10 and Micarta, and he might be able to do a full Micarta on this, but this is on a CF Elite. What's up, Brandon? Welcome, welcome. And it's kind of got that sonar pattern going off that center scale screw. So I like it, you know. Um, the only thing I didn't know is he does a Makarta backspacer, so I got to order one of those from him this week. But it's G10, Makarta mixed. Uh, it's made by Death Grips on Instagram. Ryan is his name. Hey, Joseph, welcome. First time commenting. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Ask any questions that you may have. If you have a knife you want to see, I'll try to get it out and show it off. Yeah, there's so many people making things. It's just amazing. I mean, you guys have seen my bug out video. I'm going to do another update to that, I think, because I've got so many different scales from there. So, oh, Blade HQ sold out. Oh, man. Well, go to Southern Edge Knife Works when he opens his website up. I'm going to have to message him when I get done with here and be like, hey, man, what's up with the website? Oh, you got those real fishing. Okay. Yeah, so I was looking at those. And I saw, so I was talking to him the other day because I was looking at getting another set and I heard, oh, thank you. Yeah. I like the mini Creek river. So I heard on the mini bug out is, do I have 940 scales? I do have some, but not too many custom ones. I have a lot of the exclusive ones that came from Benchmade, but not a lot of aftermarket ones. I have a couple, but that's about it on the 940. Oh, the rock scales, Timascus, Morgan. I know. I need to get some of those. It's so tempting now with that backspacer. Okay, cool. His website's back up. All right. Maybe it's just doing some maintenance. Yeah, so, you know, you can also email him. Um, I think it's Chad over there. Um, but just email the Southern Edge Knife Works. Use the Zach 15 code to get your 15% uh, off. But, yeah, just email him, and he can he can get whatever for you. So, but yeah, so I was looking at the rogue carbon fiber to put on these. And then he said there might be some other materials coming out too. Oh, you have the death grips in the G10. Oh, the red. Oh yeah. Carbon fiber red. Yeah. That's awesome. Chad, you gotta, you gotta send me a picture of that. Email it to me or post on Instagram or something. You got it. Those are awesome. Oh yeah, the AWT scales are solid. Those are really solid. A lot of people have them. I used to have some on a uh, Kryptonian, um, but I got rid of them. And it's not be and it's not because I didn't like them. It's because the mini Kryptonian is just a tad too small for me. So that's why the mini Freak and the mini Presidio two are like perfect size wise for me. Yeah, the mini bug out's so nice. 
Yeah, throw it to me, man. That'll be awesome. Yeah, Big Red. Somebody said red. Yeah, so Morgan, I put my display case that I got um, from Rodney. He was so awesome and hooked me up with it. He knew I'd been looking for one. And, you know, he's got powers, you know. So he hooked one up and he's like, hey, man. And so we made a deal for it. And he shipped it right away to me. So generous, so kind. And uh, it was great. You know, I loved it. <laughs> so now I got some knives in there. Uh, I pulled a few out. I've changed it around. I'm trying to figure out which ones to keep in there. And then I might take it to work with me. But we'll see. I may have to like tack it down to my desk or something. Bigger front flipper, under 100 bucks. I get the real steel rocket. But it has really sharp edges everywhere, especially on the flipper tab. Well, that's no fun. Yeah, the regular grip tilling has been the best. I swapped a few of mine out um, and did carbon fiber scales uh, from like Flytanium on one of them. And then I did some other scales as well from like Death Grips. So, so far, Earl, they've been holding up really well. And I have two versions of it that I've been actually carrying. I've been carrying this one the most. And so you can kind of see it's it's held up really well. I've just dropped it afterwards. Um, and then I have this version as well. But that's the M390 version. So obviously that one's going to hold up really well. But on this one, it's been doing pretty good. Oh, yeah, the HK. Yeah, unfortunately they don't have the... I think HK is with uh, Hogue now. So they could come back. What's up, acetone? Am I looking for one? Uh, I think I have one of these right here. The one I'm looking for is a 940, the new dealer exclusive one. Oh no, you cut your palm with it? Yeah, that's what I was having happen with the Deca, the Hogue Deca. But now that I switched to the Warncliffe one, it works great. And I have the Micarta scales on one of these bug outs that I got from Rogue um, probably about a year and a half ago or more. And they've been doing pretty good. I mean, obviously, they got a lot of oils on them and whatnot. I haven't washed them or cleaned them yet, but I think I like the look of it. You know, it kind of keeps the design going, and it's on a GRY-1, so... Oh, use it for SAR? Okay. Yeah, the Grip is a workhorse, man. I do have a new bailout, Chris. Yes, you want to see that? Yeah, so as far as I saw, they, um, I thought HK was with Hogue now from what I saw. I'll have to double check that. But yeah, I mean, they did have them, but so there's my everyday griptilian. I'll use the heck out of that. And it's got a different scale on it because it came from the tan one and I just dyed it. Yeah, for a scale mod on that, I would go with, uh, yeah, that's what I thought, Chad, that Hogue was already with, uh, or HK was already with Hogue. Zach, I probably have like, hmm, close to probably 30 bug outs. All different types. I mean, I have all types. Pretty much every bug out that's come out I have, and then I've done a lot of mods. Um, let's see. So I was going to look for... Which knife was I looking for? Let me go back in the comments really quick. The new bailout. Yes, I do. I was like, man, I know it's here. <laughs> I was looking for somebody. Let me find it. I'm do. I was doing cleaning of my office today, and then all of a sudden, uh, the outside work became more pressing because it's gonna like pour down rain tomorrow for like two three days. I do have a sickness. Troy lost his Benchmade nine forty two thousand one. What? How do you do that? Do you go to the airport with it or something? Or did he lose it when he was out hunting? That's crazy. I'll have to message him tonight. 
So here's the new um, aluminum scaled bailout, which, I mean, if you can see the texturing on these scales, get some marks off of there, sorry. I think you just get powder marks on there. He has a 940 curse. That's probably why he didn't text me back <laughs> two days ago. He probably doesn't want to tell me that. But yeah, I like this bailout. The scales are amazing. Of course, it's got the amazing steel and M4. Um, yeah. There's not much to say for this other than this is it. So the only thing I would like to do is get a second one and get a this the pommel delete. So get that backspacer that doesn't have it from Rock Scale Designs. He's almost coming out with it. So um, is that 007? Yeah, it is 007. 007 out of 500. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. I got a load number one. I was pretty proud. You know, I try to get some. Yeah, the old one's nice too. I have a few of those and they're great. So I'll tell you this on, I mean, I mean the, the stock of the blade is pretty darn thick until it gets out here, like the last, you know, three quarters of an inch maybe. But... I mean, it's slicey like crazy. So I like it because it's super lightweight and, uh, you know, it's one that you can just throw in pretty much anything you wear and you're ready to go. What's my grail, Teton? Well, let me tell you about that. And then I'll get back to some questions I saw a minute ago. So my grail right now is a knife called the Centron. And it's made by, it's a custom knife made by Shane Seibert. And if Shane Seibert sounds familiar, it's because he's done a lot of knife designs that Benchmade has purchased and collaborated with him and made a more, because he does customs that are like, they start at like $1,500 and go to three, four grand, whatever, based on how he's making them. So they are amazing. And the Centron, what's up, Nick? Welcome. And the Centron is one that I actually got hands-on with two summers ago. Yeah, exactly. It's a Centron by Shane Seibert. It's a custom knife. I think if you go to like Arizona Custom Knives, their website, you can basically type in Shane Seibert and the Centron will pop up. They're sold, but the basic ones they had on there were like fourteen to nineteen hundred bucks. Um, he sold them at uh, I think the uh, gathering. Yeah, the Lone Wolf will be cool. I know they're working on a bunch of stuff, so we'll see what pops out in the next few months. And so I saw one that was just a plain one even that was like twelve, thirteen hundred. 1300 Yeah, exactly. There's one for 2400 Morgan. <clears throat> but the Centron is just beautiful. And if you go to Shane Seibert's um, Instagram, Seibert Knives, S-I-B-E-R-T, um, he's a local guy. He's here in Oregon. Uh, I've met him dozens of times. Nicest guy in the world, um, but I wouldn't want to mess with him. I mean, he just, he basically goes all day and just grinds knives. You know, he does all his stuff by hand. He's an amazing, amazing craftsman. So I would tell you, yeah, exactly. I'd have to sell all my bug outs to get the grail. But it's, so he's he stopped taking orders because he's like two and a half, three years in the back. And, you know, in the rears for orders. So any new stuff he basically brings to certain shows. So he'll go to, you know, the gathering. He'll go to all these other ones. And basically, um, I would take the 940 one over the mediator. If I had to choose between the two, just because I'm a 940 guy through and through, even though the mediator is like a automatic 940, but yeah, so Shane's an awesome dude. The Centron is like my true grail of grails. Uh, my one more uh, obtainable grail right now is that, um, exclusive gold class proper, but that's still a thousand bucks no matter where you go. And, uh, yeah, it'll probably stay with whoever has it. Do I have an EDC bag? Yeah. So I've, I've been carrying a, oops, sorry about that. I've been carrying a, um, I think it's made by Columbia a Columbia bag for quite a while and recently switched over to, I'm trying out two different ones. I bought one from uh Valtech tactical and I think, I can't remember if that's the name of it or not, 
And then I also, hey, and Randy, thanks. I appreciate it. Hey, thanks for emailing me too this weekend. I really appreciate it. Um, and the other one is made by Case Logic. So I've been switching back and forth between those. Uh, because I can carry a lot of my stuff for work in there. I can carry some of my pens, some of my knives. I can throw my sharpening kit in there. Um, you know, random keys, whatever I need to also. Uh, Nick says, how many knives do I have? Do I have like 50,000 in knife collection? Man, I don't know. I don't even want to count. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those things where it's like, you know, I've been trying to like not count, but I think uh, today doing some cleaning, I counted. And just the ones I have out today that I was sorting, it was like over 200. So I know there's like more like, I don't know, there's probably, it's, there's probably over 300 total. Uh, but there's a lot of like, you know, Columbia River Knife and Tool. There's tons of knives, you know, not just Benchmade. So I think, I think if I had to, you know, do Benchmade knives, I'd probably have like 200 maybe Benchmade knives all in my safe. So yeah, my insurance guy loves me. He's like, Hey, every year he's like, well, let's update your policy. So that's, you know, over the last three, four years of knife collecting, that's what, uh, my extra job is paid for. So I have not had a Chavez. I've, I've used one. It's amazing. Um, but it's fun. Zach, I am Older than you think, probably. <laughs> but yeah. Knife goals. Knife goals. So let's see. What else can we put out there? We'll talk about. So one of you guys... You're 47. Okay. Nice. That's cool. Yeah, it's interesting to read like my analytics for my channel because it talks about like how old people are and you know all this and yeah, I got a pretty good range of people that are like anywhere from you know late teens to like sixties. So that's kind of cool. And I saw Morgan said he was throwing this one out, which you can't beat this one. It's the G10, the dark green G10 from uh, REI with the purple barrel spacer. It's kind of a throwback to the original. I love this one. That's 30 v Mine had a crazy edge put on it. I don't know if you can see that, like that just mirrored edge. And it works okay, but I have to strop it quite a bit. Oh, you bought the 940? with the red accents. Nice. The one from Smoky Mountain. Probably get a purple thumb. Yeah, get a purple thumb set. That'll be hot. I need to do that on mine too. That would tie it all in. Oh, the red SeaTech. Nice. <laughs> when you say 300, must be 80. No, I'm not that old. I still got to work, man. Oh, you held the 940 with the green aluminum. Very cool, Bunzo. Oh, that's cool. Well, that's really cool then. So the Makarta inlay bug out scales are about 160, 165 maybe. Uh, Death Grips on Instagram. His name is Ryan Roberts. Death Grips on Instagram. Super nice guy. Super, I mean... He's probably four to six weeks out, I think, right now. Yeah, their damage steel does get really sharp. I've been looking. I was trying to look for my uh, 940 that you were talking about, but I guess I don't have it in here. That's weird. Yeah, thumb studs with Adrian. Oh, it's right here. Is this one you're talking about? I was like all looking through my bag, and it's like laying right next to me. 
This one's pretty cool. It's the Going Gear exclusive black G10, red C Tech honeycomb inlay, red thumb studs, red barrel spacers, deep pocket carry clip, uh, and a beautiful CPM 20 CV. Uh, my first bench made ever was a 940, and I actually still have it here. Hold on. And it's been sharpened like crazy. Yeah, the Gold Class Mini Creek River is hot. It's nice. I'll have to change position so it gets a little more light on it. I'll show that off in just a second. So here's my original one from 20 years ago that I got. You can see it's been sharpened quite a bit compared to the serrations where they usually are. Um, they, it's all been sharpened through Benchmade. The scales are like butter smooth aluminum because everything's been worn off. It's got still got the anodized purple backspacer, which is beautiful. And it's got the original clip with the Benchmade USA on it. Quite a bit's worn off, but it's the original, you know, tarnished one. 154 CM. This one's eight of a thousand first production. So. This is the first one I ever got. I won it during a raffle for a law enforcement fundraiser for a local deputy who had been shot. Um, yeah. So it means a lot to me too. So I try to keep this one now because after I had it sharpened like six times, I know that would be so cool if they gave me another one and just labeled it that way. But this one has a lot of, I mean, this one's been a lot of places with me. It means a lot. So they basically, after I sharpened it like the sixth time or something, they were like, well, two things. One, you know this is labeled eight of a thousand first production run and like the single digits just aren't out there because they at the time the single digits didn't go out to the public. They were all through, what's up? What's up, Christine? Women Carry Knives is here. What's up, what's up? So they only went out to, you know, basically the owners and the managers, the upper managers. So yeah, so... What's up, Jason? Welcome, welcome. So that's my very first Benchmade ever. So I'm pretty pretty proud of that one, pretty excited. Thanks, Nick, I appreciate it, man. That's so nice of you. Yeah, we're just, you know, and also I'll just recap. Don't forget my giveaway, my 5,000 subscriber giveaway. These are the knives I'm giving away. They're brand new in the box. Well, I've opened them up to show them off, that's about it. Those are the three I'm giving away. It's pretty cool. Yeah, that would be sweet, huh? That's a good hashtag. I like that hashtag. Yeah, it is, Michael. It is pretty cool. Let Zach design. Yeah, Benchmade knife. I'd do a 940. You know me. 940 or a bug out. How cool would it be if they'd let me design the first G10, like actual release G10, not just like an exclusive one or a limited edition? I'd be down with that. But I think I'd, you know... I'd really like to do a blue version, but uh, you know what? I have some red, especially with big red. I can see some red accents going in there. Match it up with like the Super Freak. Yeah, proper. Proper would be sick. Well, you guys saw the micarta I put on these. On this limited edition one that originally came with the blue scales. I put the micarta on there. I almost put the red G10 on here too. I think the red G10 would look nice too. Yeah, so definitely get signed up for that. You know, share it. But yeah, Slicey Dicey definitely going live here soon. And he's doing his 45th birthday celebration. So make sure to join in. Give him a shout out. Wish him happy birthday. They need both of those in the custom knife builder, Chad. That would be amazing. I've been pushing for it every chance I get. You know me, so. But yeah, so let's see here. I want to see if I missed a comment in there. Uh, silver or white thumb studs would look awesome on the mini bug out. Yeah, definitely. Some silver ones probably make a little color pop. I think I got caught up on those. Let's see. You call the prototype or all? Sounds good. Oh, yeah. So it was about the Crooked River. 
Cool, Zach, right on. Oh, the folding sock pee. It's pretty, I like the folding sock pee. I carry it. Uh, the Micarta proper scales came on my stock on a stock bench made proper. And then I put them on this um, limited edition proper that had the black hardware and black blade. So you guys want to see the folding sock P? Yeah, Mark, I'm in my 80s. What's up, Micah? Yeah, they're just stock. No, I'm just kidding. No, they came off of another proper that I did a build on. Um, oh, yeah, Micah. You should just advertise them out there. Um, a lot of people, like, when they do an upgrade, they just have that stuff laying around. A mini super freak. I'm with you on that. And then I saw something about... Somebody had a question about a limited edition mini Crooked River that I had. So since we're throwing this out there, that's the one I built on the customizer. The blue just pops. Nick, thanks, man. You're my hero, buddy. Thank you so much. That will That will go right to shipping for my giveaway, so... Thank you. But this is the one that I built on the customizer. Dam of steel, carbon fiber with, you know, the coated bolster, the blue anodized pivot ring or collar ring. I mean, yeah, could you imagine like making your own 940 like this? Holy cow. I'd be broke. I'd have to get like three or four jobs. But Oh, okay. So a question between these two. So that's a good question. So Hmm. I really like the marble carbon fiber in all one piece, but I like the way the the bolster splits on these. You know, this carbon fiber looks pretty basic. I mean, obviously, this marble carbon fiber is gorgeous. Um, I think this one, this mini Crooked River was in the four mid-400 range on the customizer. Yeah, I could put a blue one on there. That would that would make it. I should do that. That's a good idea. I might have an extra blue one laying around. But if I had to pick between the two... I'd probably say this one, the blue one I made in the customizer, because I like the color accents, especially with the, the, the blue backspacer just pops. And if you can, so if you imagine, like I talked about earlier, that 940 that I kind of put out to you guys that I'm looking for, if I can find one of those, I mean, that's the blue G10 they use for the 940 scales, and they're gorgeous with the black blade. Oh, really? Knife center's raffling off, huh? Oh, that's crazy. Yep. Custom. I'd like to see the mini super freak before they customize the full size. Yeah. So Alex, I'm looking for, there's, I'll, I'll say it really quick and then I want to get into putting some things up for a giveaway for you guys. Um, I'm looking for a nine, so it's a 940BK-2002. It's a new dealer exclusive knife that they're offering to dealers who make a qualifying order through Benchmade. Um, it's, yeah, exactly, Earl. My wallet always tells me now. I build lots of them and save them in my account, but then I look at the price tag and I'm like, oh, I'm good. Um, but yeah, I would love to add it to my collection. I would love to carry it. Um, but it's hard to get one because you have to be a dealer and you have to make a qualifying order and you only get one per your order. So I'm hoping that somebody finds one for me, you know, hope, hopefully I can get one of those, but we'll see the best auto. I like the new autocrat, but the infidel is like tried and true. So what's up these knives? Oh, you got a group tilling in the custom shop? Natural G10 and all black. Oh, that would look good. What's up, CK? Welcome. Oh, you're a dealer, huh? Oh, Nick, thanks, man. <laughs> thank you so much. That's awesome. Thank you, thank you, Nick. 
Um, yeah, so I don't know. They didn't tell me what, well, I kind of have a ballpark idea, but you know, I would say it's probably a couple thousand bucks at least. Um, but yeah, it's simple, but it's gorgeous. And I was hoping they would come out with one, but Zach says 10 grand. It could be, who knows? But let's clear a couple of these out of here or not clear them out, but let's just put them off to the side. Maybe we'll leave some of the gorgeous ones out. What's the blue one? Second from the left. Oh yeah, no problem. This is the Hogue Deca. You can see right there, D-E-K-A, made by Hogue Knives. Oh, thanks, D-Tom. Knives and gear. Yeah, that would be amazing if you guys found it. I mean, I'm not looking for a free one. I'm just looking to buy one that's not, you know, there was one listed on eBay and it was like 500 bucks. And I'm like, ooh, I can't do that. But yeah, if I could get one like decent price, I, I'm good with it. Oh, you put a video up. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll have to check it out. That's great, you guys. Thank you so much. All your guys' support today. Yeah, exactly. Yep, they're gorgeous. These are gorgeous. Uh, let's see here. Let's get some stuff to give away. And I saw somebody put a, a comment in there, if you can ask again. You put a comment about favorite non-USA knife or something like that. Was that your question? If so, then I will answer it. Oh, thanks, Nick. Oh, the unicorn. <laughs> Rainbow unicorn. Love it. Oh, the old 941? Oh, yeah, Ken. Yeah, hit me up, man. Email me or DM me on Instagram. That unicorn's awesome. Let's see. Let's get a few things out for giveaway. I had one pick, but I'm like, uh, let's do a different one. So I think, let's see here. Got to get it out of the bag that's in. I love this knife. And I love the guy that it's designed by. Yeah, Pearson's in the house, man. He has some great customs, David. So this is a beautiful knife made by Artisan Cutlery. But the designer is a good friend of ours, Dylan Mallory. It's got beautiful G10. It's got the orange, nice pivot collar ring. What's that, Rodney? Yes, it is an RKO. Now, this is a pretty full-size one. But I wanted to give this away today. I have another one. But I like to give this one away. Yeah, Pearson's in the house, man. I showed off your knife earlier today. You got to place an order with him, man. He's got some sick stuff. Yeah, Ken, hit me up. Let me know. So this is a nice flipper, liner lock. This is brand new. Uh, I picked it up actually from Artisan when Dylan was working there. Oh, right on, Rodney. Beautiful work that he does on those knives. So, yeah, you can carry this right or left-handed. Nice little flipper. But, yeah. I figured let's give this one away. D2 blade steel, serialized. Oh, that's sweet. Right on, JB. His and hers. I like it. So, what we're going to do, we're going to have fun with this one. <laughs> and you'll get, of course, some stickers from Zach's stuff. You know, I got to throw some of my stickers in. My swag and all that. Um, but today is just a knife. You know, I got three other knives going. I'm going to do that drawing uh, in the evening on May 1st. This Friday. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, thanks, Ben. I appreciate that. And it's one of those things that, you know, I just want to keep giving back to you guys. I know we all try to do that. And, yeah. So, we're going to have some fun with this one. Because... Last week, the last two times I've done this, haven't been super fun. <laughs> because I ended up, like, uh, getting, like, totally swamped. So I'm going to try to see if you guys can help me out. But last week I did it and chose the person afterwards because I had to look at the official replay. Because for some reason, when I do it here, it just doesn't work. So 
Big Red, Rodney, if you guys want to help me out, you know, obviously we'll use my official one, but anyways, we're going to do it Big Red style. So I'm going to write down on this piece of paper, uh, two letter initials. So it's going to be like AA, BB. Thank you guys for both. I appreciate your help. And we're, it's going to be something we talked about today. Um, you know, and so if we had talked about AA today, it might be in there, but it's not in there today. So, um, when I say that you guys can go ahead and start, then I would like you to keep your cap locks on, um, and make your guesses. And the first person that gets it, then we'll go ahead and go through and select you as a winner and you will win this awesome knife and I will ship it out to you. Um, so yeah, so that's one of the things that we'll do and we will... Let's see here. I got to think of something really cool, right? Something really, really cool that we talked about today. I'm just kidding. Red man forgot to ask you for a sticker. Oh yeah. The big red, huh? Okay, I got it written down. I had to take a second. You guys will probably get it like right out of the shoot. I know last night, Big Red, his was like right off the charts. Somebody nailed it. So I'm hoping you guys get it right away as well because sometimes multiple people get them pretty close. So go ahead and start guessing. Two letter initials. Cap locks on. I will try to go ahead and get the ones that I see first. Once I see a, an actual winning guess, then I will go ahead and let you guys know that we can stop the guesses. Um, right now, we're still waiting to see a correct guess. I think I just saw a correct guess. So I'm going to take a little screenshot of that. I did see one correct guess, so we can go ahead and stop guessing. So if anybody has any stop signs they want to throw up, I do have someone that I saw a correct guess. Bunzo throwing it down. Yeah, thank you. So yes, Rodney, thank you. Oh, thanks, Christine. Big Red. Everybody's throwing down the stop signs now. Blade Brigade, Earl, Bunzo. So let's take a look at this. And I'll have you guys go back and confirm with me. But I saw a correct guess of HD. Yeah, thank you, Ryan. Yeah, definitely hit the thumbs up if you can for that. <laughs> so I saw a correct guess. And if Rodney and, and, Rodney and uh, Big Red want to go back and take a peek as well, what I saw, and I want to confirm... I saw one pop up that Penny had posted and I just want to see if there was any prior to that. So for some reason, like the ones that have happened the last couple weeks, it had been really weird where it, I literally had like a couple people pop over, you know? So yeah. So I'll double check when we get done here. Um, but I want to definitely make time because in like less than 15 minutes, Slicey Dicey goes live. We got to go over there, help him celebrate his 45th birthday, which is Tuesday, and go from there. So anyways, I just want to say, like I said at the very beginning of this, I've been blown away by... Okay, and I'll double check and see if Ty got it. And I'll double check. I'll look at mine and we'll see. We'll go through there. And that's why I didn't want to double check. But So we'll sort it out between the two. But I just want to say, like I said at the very beginning, you guys have been amazing. And if you get an opportunity just to read what people th are thankful for, at you know the comments on my 5,000 subscriber giveaway are amazing. So just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Um... And I just, I can't believe what everybody's saying, you know, just 
what they're thankful for. They're thankful for their families and their friends and the neighbors and all the first responders and all the nurses and all the people doing deliveries and groceries and just amazing. So, yeah, I'll double check. I mean, if it was Thai addiction, then it's Thai addiction. You know, we'll go from there, guys. So I really appreciate your guys' support. I really appreciate everything you guys have done to support my channel. Um, don't forget to spread the word about my subscriber giveaway this Friday. I mean, you probably don't want to you know, spread the word too much because you guys are entered, but I do have three knives I'm giving away, Benchmade knives. Beautiful. Brandon, have a great time. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to check out Slicey Dicey. He's on. I know there's a couple other channels going live as well. Uh, Neves Knives, OCD for EDC. I saw their stuff coming up as well. So spread the love. Keep doing something kind. I will see you guys on their other stream here in a few minutes. You guys are awesome. Have a great night. Have an awesome week. I pray for all your guys' safety. Do something kind this week. Take care.